All right, let's talk about digging into your PPC data and really understanding what we can draw out of just the Google, Google AdWords interface to really turn our campaigns into effective vehicles. Now, that being said, a lot of the third-party tools like Marin and Kenshu will also help out with this and they offer you some automated abilities to do it, but it's just like using a calculator in high school math. You need to know how to enter the data into it before you can really start to get the full value out of the calculator. So, with any PPC campaign, once you get it live, you're always needing to look into optimizing it. There is no such thing as a mature campaign. Every campaign, every ad group, every ad, every keyword can benefit from optimization and making this part and parcel of your day-to-day -day activity is going to be incredibly helpful to making a successful campaign. Different elements you can optimize, and this is taken from a Marin white paper. You can do bidding optimization, creative optimization, optimize your campaign structures and targeting, look at your budgeting, really put the money where it's performing, and it's an ongoing cycle. There's no final destination. You're always looking to find the next greatest way to get that last ounce of efficiency out of your campaign. Let's talk about some of the ways you can explore your data with Google, within Google AdWords. A lot of this also applies to the Bing Yahoo interface. And you can also use, do some of this digging down in, like I said, third-party tools. But since AdWords owns 65 plus percent of the overall marketplace, you can, by learning how to do it on AdWords, you can take that and translate it across the other PPC accounts you may be running. So there are a number of different ways you can dig into the interface to really distill out the information that's going to give you actionable uh, analysis. You have something called a dimension report. You can choose whatever columns you look at on a daily basis or on a specific report. You can filter by ad group, by campaign, by accounts. Google is always looking for the next best way to deliver you data that's really going to help you to perform effectively. Without this, you're not going to be able to really get the best bang for your dollars. Okay, let's start with the dimension report. Now, within your Google interface, there, the very last tab is called dimension. The dimensions tab will allow you to gather data and then look at subsets of it very easily. Um, you, there are a number of different elements you can look at here. Um, conversions, different types, you can label your data. Time, time of, time of the day, day of the week, month, year, week. Your top movers, geographic, the locations for your users, distance from um, the center of your search, your search terms, paid versus organic, free clicks, golf details, campaign deals. You can kind of see lots of different ways you can slice and parse the data here. Um, you can also pick the columns you want to display. And the column chooser is right over here, columns. That's on every tab within the interface. Um, right now, you can see we have converted cl clicks, cost per converted clicks, and conversion rates. You can also do view through conversions. You can do call details. You can do impression shares. Lots of different columns you can get as your default reporting column at any tab on the interface. Um, this is just an example of some of the conversions you can look at. And in addition to the dimensions, you can also filter. So you can say, I want all my ads that had a 5% click-through rate at less than a 30 cents cost per click and had a conversion, had more than one conversions in the last six months. I can set up filters there and I can find my high performers and I can find my non-performers, and I can go in and refine those or pause them or give them more budget depending on what's working and what's not. 
And again, this is all underneath the Dimensions tab. It'll allow you to look at your data in a number of different ways. And as you look at this data, then you can take the data and start using it to target your campaigns and really make sure your ads are getting in front of the right people. One of the things we look at when we're doing any account analysis is we try to segment our traffic into different buckets. And having the dimensions reports and the filtering allows us to do this segmenting. Um, this is for a family law practice and we wanted to take a look at how the campaigns were performing on Google, on Google's partner networks, and also how they were performing on the first, on the top two listings versus listings three through five. So we went ahead and segmented it out. And for overall, for the period of the report here, we received 364 clicks in this ad group. Um, with a 2.55 click-through rate of 576 cost per click. Average position was 2.2, and at kind of at a top level, we had decent conversion, but we were looking to, looking to chase the conversion and really optimize our dollars in the right places. So when we looked at um, top position versus the three through six position, you can see our cost per click for those lower positions was actually higher. Our click-through rate was 10% of the top position click-through rate. And our conversion rate on those three through six positions was a quarter of what it was on the top positions. We were able to go in there, segment out the data, and analyze it and look at this. And we did the same thing on the search partners. And we saw where we were getting lots of, lots of impressions from the search partners. They weren't converting. So we just stopped spending the money on the search partners and started spending all our money on the top two positions on Google search only and got it off the partner network. It gave us about a 7% increase in click-through rate and about a 4% decrease in cost per conversion. And where these conversions were $125, $160, that 4% started to add up pretty quickly.